Hey, what's going on, meteorologist Mike Linden here. In this video, we're going to cover some of the most frequently asked questions about the MyRadar app. First, do my subscriptions transfer over to different platforms? At this time, no, they do not. So if you have premium features on iOS and then have the Windows version of the app, that subscription does not transfer over. My updates don't work. How do I fix that? This is a really useful fix, and this isn't going to happen all the time, but let's just say you've upgraded to the premium features, but it doesn't seem to be working. Well, all you have to do is go into the app, tap on the settings menu. It's that little gear icon in the bottom right, and tap on restore previous purchases. What this will do is kind of clear the cache between the app and the app store. And then of course it says restore complete, and it says what your upgrades are, and you should be good to go from there. How do I remove location markers from the map? So this happens sometimes by accident or for our users that have added a lot of locations as favorites in the app. We've covered this in a previous tutorial, and you should check that out for more information, but this is a really easy fix here. So looking at the map here, I've got those two location markers, one in Arkansas and then another there in Alabama. Well, all you have to do is swipe left or right on the forecast panel, and it will take you to those favorite locations. In this case, we have one in the Ozarks. Oh, I zoomed away from it for a second, so let's just toggle between them. So there we go, Ozark, Arkansas. And in the top right-hand corner, can you see that little marker with the star in it? You tap on that, location marker's gone. Let's swipe on the forecast to the next one here in Cuba, Alabama, tap on the location marker, and it's gone. If you wanna add that back, all you have to do is find your favorite location, whether you find it on the map, or of course you find it through the location search. And then of course you just tap on that location marker to favorite a location. My forecast won't update. How do I fix that? This is also a really easy fix and it's all with the forecast panel. So let's just say as we zoom around the map here, notice we are up in Chicago, Illinois, but the forecast still says Alabama. Well, look at the top left-hand corner of the forecast. We are currently locked on our last location. So let's unlock that and it's changed to Chicago, Illinois. But let's just say we wanna keep the forecast here in Chicago, tap on the lock and you're good to go. We can zoom all the way away. Here we are in Texas, but the forecast remains locked. That's the answer. It's the lock unlock in the top left corner of the forecast panel. I have an issue. How do I reach out to the support team to get my issue resolved? Well, our support team is the best in the business and they would be happy to answer any of the questions or the issues that you're facing with the app. In order to reach out to our customer support team within the app, you tap on the settings menu. It looks like the little gear there and then scroll down just a little bit and hit contact support. This will open up our support portal and then you just hit new ticket right there, fill out the information and our CS team will get back to you quickly. How do I get the Apple Watch app? Well, of course, the Apple Watch app is a really useful addition to the MyRadar family, but it is a premium feature. Once you have upgraded to the premium features, the MyRadar Watch app will be available. All you have to do is go into the watch menu on iOS and toggle on MyRadar and you're good to go. What is the camera icon on the toolbar? What does that do? Well, this is the My Radar Photos portal. This is a really, really useful feature that allows you to take pictures within the app or to upload a picture from your camera roll. You tap on the photos, you make an account, and then from here, once we go into the layers menu, um, for this instance, I'll turn on photos, and this is going to show us photos from My Radar users all around the world that have been uploaded. You can see them right on the map, tap on them, and in this particular instance, we can see some photos uploaded by a user here near Clovis. You can engage with this photo by tapping on the little heart there, see when it was posted, leave a comment if you'd like. This is an awesome feature if you just have something really cool to share with my radar users all across the world. If you wanna check out a guide on how to take really stunning photos from Storm Chaser Aaron Jajak, we'll link to that in this tutorial as well. How do I share a loop or an animation from the My Radar app? This is super easy to do, and it's right on the toolbar. Right there on the bottom right-hand corner, that little rectangle with the upward arrow, tap on that, and you are prompted with the share feature. 
From here, you can pick image, which is a still image of what you are centered on in the app, or animation, which will share a loop of the My Radar app. From there, you can tap on it, save it to your device locally, send it to social media, so much you can do to engage with users outside of the app as well. So if you have any additional questions about the My Radar app, like I mentioned before, our world-class customer support team would be glad to answer your questions. Again, go into that settings menu, tap on contact customer support, fill out a ticket, and they'll get back to you super quick. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.